I remember it was years ago now that I first came, came across Revelation 21.8 and was just struck by this, by this descriptive. Revelation 21.8 gives a list of eight descriptives, eight adjectives of the type of sinners that will be cast into the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. And the very first adjective there is fearful, that the fearful will be cast into the lake of fire. And I used to think that was kind of mean of God. I thought, wow, they're going to be fearful during their lives, and then they're going to die and go to hell on top of that? Well, that's not very nice. However, I came to see as I studied the word that really fear is not a part of a Christian life. I mean, being fearful shows a lack of trust in God rather than a trust in him. And we can see this, well, I've seen it in many ways since then, and it is very true. And so I'm going to get into this a little bit, just how the Bible shows us that fear is not really a part of the Christian life. Now, of course, we're all familiar with the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it is the beginning of wisdom. However, we do not continue in fear as we grow in the Lord. As we see in 1 John 4.18, it says that, we are perfected in love. If we fear, we are not being perfected in love. And we will be perfected in love because as we get to know the Lord, we realize everything that he has done for us through Jesus Christ, his son, has been from love. He doesn't want us to have fear. He wants us to trust in him. So let me just go through this a little bit. Read a, read a few verses. Again, reminding you there are more verses in the description. Please avail yourselves of them. This is one of my, my wife's favorite verses from Psalm 46, verses 1 and 2. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed and the mountains be uh, carried into the midst of the sea. You know, we're going to face that. We will be facing that as it comes down to the end of the world. But it's just saying here, we, were, we will not fear. Why? We trust in the Lord. Our hope is in him. Our life is in him. Our life is not here on this earth. It is saying we will not fear because God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Then I'll go to the next one. This is from Matthew chapter 8, verse 26. Maybe I will start with 24. Behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. That is, Jesus was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. So even here, Jesus is telling his disciples, Why are ye fearful? Have faith. Faith will tend to cast out fear. Let me read this also from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. God has not given us a spirit of fear. You may remember also from places like Proverbs 28, 28, 1. The wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Now, I don't mean to say that there aren't things to be cautious of. I certainly don't mean to say that. There are different types of fear. But I am talking about what shouldn't be a part of the Christian life are absurd fears. There are some fears that are just cautions, and we know this. For example, when my wife and I had come here, I think this was in Zambia, we were at a restaurant that was on the river. There were river boats that went back and forth. You could look at wildlife. But we were up in like the complex where there were a number of buildings, and this hippopotamus shows up. It was just kind of in the, all by itself and in, in between the buildings. And you know what? I mean, the cameras were, were flashing for sure. People were aiming at it to take pictures, but nobody was getting close to it because hippos kill more people in Africa than any other animal. They, 
They kill 500 people a year, and they are very territorial. And so nobody knew what to expect. But these people weren't in terror. They were there watching the hippo, filming it, taking pictures, such things like that. They knew to be cautious. This is not the kind of fear that I'm talking about when I say an absurd fear. But I have seen this in, in people over the years. Uh, I think the media has real, really likes to blast fear. It, lasts, it likes to blast fear. Right now we're looking at uh, possible nuclear exchange with, between America and Russia and other nations in between. And the media could hype that, hype that, hype that, and people would start being, oh, we're going to get killed, oh, the phones. Not everyone will be like that, but some people will. And it was the same with the COVID-19 thing, which was the alleged pandemic. Uh, the media was trying to put people in fear, so much fear that they would keep apart from others, wear masks, stay home, and it gets to be ridiculous. Those who trust in the Lord do not have these kind of absurd fears. I see around here, okay, as we're walking along, many times we're told by people, oh, don't go over there. You could be in danger from some animal. And yet the locals are walking back and forth. They'll be right in the area. I don't know if that's a tourism thing or what. But there are some who are legitimately serious about it. and They have a fear that something's going to happen. Well, we can't be afraid of that. I mean, we have limited income and we have to walk back and forth sometimes. We just, we don't have a car. We can't afford a taxi everywhere. And I certainly cannot afford not to spend time alone with the Lord. So we try to use our, our heads about this. God has given us a sound mind. And so we come out in the places during the time of day where the animal problems will be minimal. But we're not terrorized. Indeed, it's, it's a different kind of fear. I also knew someone who was very, very afraid of fire. Oh my word, she was afraid of fire in a very absurd way. And we could just see this, the separation that she had from God in her spirit because of this. So I again encourage you to look at these uh, scriptures that I have in the description. If you are suffering from these types of fears, Understand that people do deal with these things from time to time. Something unexpected will come up. But let us make it a habit to go to the Lord in prayer and trust in him and ask him to help us to trust in him when life seems overwhelming. And just remember, God indeed is with you. He will not forsake you. But fear really comes from the enemy. He wants us to be afraid because he knows when we trust in the Lord, God will be glorified and his plans will come to nothing. May God bless.